Wonder Hussy here. I'm in Vegas, way past my bedtime. And the fact that I'm walking around Ikea looking at beds isn't making things any easier. Why am I in Vegas past my bedtime? And I should note, it's only about 6.30 on a Saturday night, but I'm from the country. We go to bed when the sun goes down where I come from, or well, we go to bed around nine anyway, so. Golly, I wish I was back in my cozy little casita right now, getting into my PJs and climbing into my cozy blankies. But instead, I'm wandering around this ginormous cavernous furniture store, basically killing time. Killing time until what, you might ask? Well, the truth is, I'm here to go to a party. Okay, it's got to be some kind of party to get me to drive all the way to Vegas from Death Valley, which is about an hour and a half drive. But my ex-roommate called me the other day with an offer I just couldn't refuse. Oh, I can't take it anymore. <laughs> This calls for drastic measures. Mmm, caffeine. And I quit drinking caffeine a year ago. I only do it now on very special occasions like emergencies like this one. Okay, you're probably wondering why am I dragging myself or why did I drag myself to the big city at this late hour? Well, it's for a good reason. It's to visit a place that I've always wanted to check out, <laughs> but never had the chance until now. Okay, if you watched my video about my five favorite houses in Las Vegas, well, you might remember, I went to Liberace's house, and I went to Siegfried and Roy's house, and I went to a bunch of cool houses, and the last house I went to was an underground house. That's right, a house that was built completely underground back in the Cold War era. I guess the guy was afraid we were gonna get nuked by the Ruskies, and he wanted to be safe here in sunny Las Vegas, so he built his entire house underground, and I think it's something like a 3,000 square foot house with a full swimming pool, backyard, barbecue, everything. All underground. Now, normally you can't get in there unless they're having some kind of fundraiser or something that was like three, 400 bucks a ticket. But I got a special invitation from somebody that I know here in Vegas. They got an invite to this party and I guess they were allowed to bring a plus one. So they asked me if I wanted to come. And so even though it meant, or even though it meant leaving Death Valley at 4 p.m. and dragging my tired ass around Ikea for two hours just trying to stay awake, well, I have a feeling it's totally going to be worth it because I'm so curious to see this underground house. Okay, wow, here we are. If you watched my video about the underground house, you might remember there's an above ground house right next to the underground house on the same property. And you can see they've got it all duded up with all kind of festive Christmas lights. There's people walking in. I'm actually about a half hour late. The party started about a half hour ago. So I guess I'm just gonna go in. And I don't really know if you're allowed to take video or not, uh, but I'll try to get as much footage as I can. I go in here's one more look at well I guess the underground house is right under this patch of desert right here I mean I know it sucks because it's nighttime and it's dark but if you watch my other video uh, you'll see it in the daylight apparently well I just found out something very interesting about this underground house <laughs> apparently there's a fake tree that's actually their chimney and I think that must be it right there in the middle I'll zoom in Gosh, I'm gonna have to go back and look at the footage I shot of this during the day, because that does look like a pretty fake tree. Uh, and it would be especially funny to see it <laughs> with smoke coming out. I mean, if it really is a chimney. Anyway, let's go in. So apparently the 80s style house above ground was basically just built to house the 
elevator that takes you down into the underground house, 26 feet below the mean streets of Vegas. And the underground house was every bit as cool as I had imagined it would be. It's actually more of an underground compound, 15,000 square feet of indoor-outdoor living space with luxurious bedrooms, a full guest casita, a billiard room, a fountain, a gas barbecue, and of course, the world-famous swimming pool. For the most part, the decor hasn't been changed since the original owner and builder, a guy named Jerry Henderson, died back in 1983. But there were a few more recent decor additions. Oh, the doorbell. <laughs> well, this is wild. Well, I guess they just let you wander around and do what you want here. Oh my god, look at this bedroom. Oh, I love this. Oh my god, this is like the girly suite. Oh, this is my dream bedroom. Look at that chandelier. Look at these drapes. Yeah, this, and then like you got the swimming pool right out the door here. Oh my god. Oh, this is amazing. Oh my god, I bet this is the most amazing powder room. Oh my god. Look at this bathtub. <laughs> Wanna take a bath? Remember in Pink Floyd? A bomb could go off and you'd be sitting in the bubble bath and never know. Yeah, and look at this beautiful pink toilet. Dear Santa, please have your elves do maintenance on this toilet. We know visitors might want to use it, but it would be much worse than coal since it could back flood black water. Yikes. Okay, basically I can't use the pink toilet, which is a real bummer, but we can look out the window. In the bathroom, you could be sitting there on your pooper looking at the uh, underground backyard. Oh my god, look at this kitchen. <laughs> it's like Barbie's dream house. Oh my god, look. Even the blender is pink. <laughs> oh my goodness, look at all this china. <laughs> china. <laughs> oh, let's go outside. Oh, look at this, the backyard. How nice. It's a beautiful, bright blue, sunny day out here. Oh my goodness, look at this grass. <laughs> it's green carpet. <laughs> wow, this is, I mean, this is one of those rare things in life that's actually cooler than you think it's gonna be. You know, usually, in my experience, anytime there's been a place that I really wanted to go for a long time and then I finally get to go, it turns out to be lame. Well, this, <laughs> is not one of those places. Cryogenic chamber, the world's leader in cryonics. Oh my God, you know what that is? That's a cryo, well, a cryonics, cryogenic tank. Like, you know, like when somebody dies and gets frozen and then they thaw you out years in the future when medical technology has advanced to where they can cure your disease. Like they say Walt Disney was supposedly frozen, which come to find out, he wasn't actually frozen, that's an urban legend, and I found out from the guy whose tank this is, who happens to be the caretaker of this underground house. That's right, there's a live uh, on-site caretaker who lives here and kind of keeps an eye on this property, and he's bizarrely really into life extension and cryonics. So this isn't actually a functioning cryonics tank. This is just like a, it's like a demo. But uh, yeah, I was just talking to him and he's, 100% on board with it. In fact, he, I think he already paid to have himself frozen when he dies at the facility down in Scottsdale. That's like the last thing I would have expected to see down here in this underground house. This place is a hundred times weirder than I even imagined. And I love it. Okay, well, it's 11 o'clock already and I have to drive an hour and a half back out to Death Friggin' Valley. So I guess... I'm going to have to say goodbye to this awesome underground house. One more little peek around. I mean, the, the wild thing is when you're at a party here, you're just supposed to use the bathrooms in these bedrooms. I mean, these are the toilets, except for that pink one that was closed. 
Oh my God, look at this. Okay, I have a feeling I might get demonetized for showing this, but look at this amazing tile mural over the bathtub. What is she doing? Boy, imagine taking a bath here with that looking at you. Might as well take a tinkle while I'm in here, but it does feel kind of weird peeing with her watching me. Oh wait, there is one more interesting detail I learned about this bedroom right here. This apparently is where the guy who originally built this house died. That's right, the guy who originally built this house back in the 60s, I guess this was his bedroom, died maybe in this exact bed. Ooh, how about that? Okay, one more look at the awesome fountain. Apparently these murals on the wall were uh, views that the guy who built the house had at all of his other houses. So I guess he had a house someplace bucolic uh, in the south of France or something. That was the view outside one of his other houses. Oh look. <laughs> More cryonics, life extension. Cryonics and the family. Wild. Yeah, let's just make sure we didn't miss anything back here. That's the little guest kitchen. Coming back out to the swimming pool again. This amazing Fred Flintstone barbecue. Imagine that they have a, I guess, oh, I guess this barbecue actually vents up through that tree. That's another one of those fake tree chimneys that I was telling you about. See that? It's a gas grill. But obviously they can't just let the gases out into this fake backyard because, well, guess what? There's a ceiling on it and, well, you'd be poisoned in no time. So apparently this gas grill vents up through that fake tree behind it, which if you notice, goes all the way up through the ceiling and I'll bet you anything, it pokes above ground and looks like a fake tree up top to you. Well, I wonder what's in here. Oh, pool towels, how nice. <laughs> You know, in case you want to take a dip, which, oh my God, I would love nothing more than to take a dip in this underground pool. Oh wait, there's one thing I would like to do more than take a dip in this underground pool. And that is take a dip in that underground jacuzzi. Look at that little tiny jacuzzi tucked away in the rocks. Oh, and there's a bigger jacuzzi in the middle. Look at that. What's up with these stripper poles? Is that what these are? <laughs> Okay, enough of that. I gotta drive home. It's supposed to be 31 degrees tonight. Ooh, I believe it. It's chilly. You can feel it. It stays, uh, probably stays, what, like about 72 degrees down here year round. So it was nice and warm down there, but ooh, up here, not so much. Oh my god, okay, now I gotta look at the chimney again. Bye, thank you so much, that was really amazing. I gotta see this fake chimney from up here. Wow, that is so funny. So this <laughs> is the chimney. Wow, what a party. <laughs> that was, without question, hands down, probably in the top five coolest things I've ever done in Vegas. And that's no exaggeration. Yeah, sure, it's, well, it's almost 11.30 now, which means it's gonna be like one in the morning by the time I get home. But guess what? It was totally worth it. <laughs> that was the best Christmas present I could ask for.